only 40% of you are subscribed. Fix that. I want to say thank you to my Patreon subscribers and um, my Twitch subscribers. If you want to help out the channel, you can actually help out for as little as a buck a month. Enjoy the video and have some fun. Somebody who is a father that has a divorce and actually has to pay child support, um, I still think this is some bullshit. Because, um, no, fuck that. Here, let's go. West Virginia Republican wants to ban child support because he believes it's it certifies his abortions. How the fuck does that happen? I, wait, aren't you supposed to be a father? Aren't you supposed to take care of your kids? Remember how, remember how they used to say that black fathers don't take care of their kids? Now this person wants to say, oh, no, no, no. Because we know what it's about. He wants the bitches to pay. He wants the bitches to pay for leaving the man. The bitch, if the bitch don't have nowhere to go, if she don't have no money, cuts off government aid and she can't leave the man i that's that's all it really is because all they want to do is punish women for having sex and opinion and enjoying sex and wanting sex and like that that's why they want to get rid of the the whole issue of rape and incest because no no if she got a kid and she ain't got no money she can't go nowhere pretty soon you're gonna be hearing these people say women shouldn't have bank accounts anymore or they shouldn't have credit cards because that is their problem. And you know what? Business is going to be like, no, nah, no, nah, dog. Nah, they need to have bank accounts because we need to make money off of them. And then that's when they start pulling into support. But let's look at this tub of joy. Chris, Chris Pritt owns his own law practice, Pritt Law, where he's specializing in divorce custody arrangements and child supports. But standing before a state leg legislator, le legislator in West Virginia, his arguments was logistically uh, was a logistic pretzel to justify eliminating all child support for a parent who gets custody of the child according to print there are fathers who don't want to be involved in their child's lives okay um if she cries if she carries through the pregnancy she's gonna have to possibly uh, some sort of child support obligations bet he's divorced i bet he's divorced um and so what he wants to do, what he wants to, in a sense, encourage her to go and find a way for her to get an abortion, because he knows that certain, a certain individual, if he has any familiar, familiarity with her, he knows that she might be in such a state of mind that if she, uh, if she must be in such a vulnerable position that it's not worth everything that he's going to do to put me through to carry this pregnancy forward, it's going to be easier. It's going to be going, wait, it's going to be easier. It's going to be better for me to just go and terminate this life. So she goes over to Virginia or some other states where she goes and gets an abortion. So I think that she really clearly possibly if we interact in the second amendment here, wait, what? So I think that's a real clear possibility. If we enact the Second Amendment here, I don't want to do anything that's encouraging thugs to go and get an abortion. What? I, no, I know I rambled, but like, I the shit is incoherent. Did I just use an incoherent word? Did I just say incoherent? Oh, uh, they said logistic pretzel. Okay, the shit is just incoherent. It's unclear what he means referring to the Second Amendment. I don't know. Like that is weird. Parents fighting not to get, parents fighting not to get child support for their child. Their raising isn't something that happens. Single parents are generally cash strapped, and any opportunity to ensure that other parents helps is important. Our financial support is typically more in the sense of to have the child as the number one reason that women give for getting an abortion. Having financial support is typically more of an incentive to have a child as a number one reason for women give for an abortion 
um, is financial video below. Oh, okay, let's see the rambling of this mad motherfucker. Oh, okay, let's let's go. Who doesn't want to really be involved in the life at all, really. Um, he knows that if, if she carries through the pregnancy, he's going to have possibly some sort of child support obligation. And so what he wants to do is he wants to, in a, in a sense, encourage her to go and find a way to get an abortion. Now, mind you, this is some shit that Republicans have also always done. Like, what is that motherfucking, um, fucking, was he a state senator or a state representative or a house, maybe the house where he, um, he was like encouraged his wife and his mistress to get abortions. But uh, okay, okay. Because he knows that if if it's a certain individual, if he has any kind of familiarity with her, uh, he knows that she might be of such a state of mind, she may be in such a vulnerable position that she decides it's not worth everything he's going to put me through uh, to carry this, this uh, pregnancy forward. It's going to be easier. It's going to be better for me to go and just terminate this life. And so what she does is she goes over to Virginia. She goes over to some other state where abortion is legal and she goes and gets the abortion. And so I think that's a really uh, clear possibility if, if we enact the. How much I want to bet that this is his rambling things about he's divorced. Okay, please tell me. Um, let's see if this motherfucker is divorced. God, he's a tub of art. Not Chris, not that Chris Pratt. Oh God, they pulled up the wrong one. They pulled up the wrong one. Um. There we go. Um, this, I hate that Google does this shit. American, um, oh, let's pull up his Wikipedia. Chris Pritt, um, an American political uh, politician serving as a member of the West Virginia House of Delegates from the 36th district, elected in 2020. He assumed the office December 1st, 2022, uh, 2020. Um, where is, does it say if he's married or not? It gives his wife name and his children, but I don't see if he's married or not, but chances are this is a, oh, Oh, that's why he's not getting the divorce. Cause his wife is an attorney too. And she will take his shit for all his work. And the fact that he sat back and said this shit has actually been in record that he doesn't want to fucking pay child support. This is delicious. Like, dude, like, come on, like I I as somebody who pays child support, um, do I think that it should be a different amount? Okay, of course, but like that's neither here nor there. I'm literally working a different job where I'm getting paid less. And, uh, but still, I have no problem as the principal of child support. I have no problem with paying child support. But these motherfuckers are just so fucking tell. That's all it is. Because they just want the woman to pay. He said it's like, uh-huh. Yeah, she's stupid. And so she's going to force to get a divorce and shit. Like, I go and get a, uh, 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 force to get a, 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 a abortion and shit like that. It's, it's just crazy shit. Like, why? Why the fuck? Why? Oh, God. I I just, I don't know. Like, these motherfuckers are crazy. Um, anyway, I, I guess this, I guess this will make it a segment. segment. Um, yeah, this, this hurts my brain. Because all they want to do is just hurt women. Because that's all they want to do. They just want to make women suffer. And I'm sorry, I'm not in the, I'm in to torturing women with orgasm denial. Yes, you heard me right. Do that orgasm denial. 
Goddamn, goddamn. Anyway, anyway, like, share, and subscribe on all that other good shit. I guess this is the second. Mm -hmm.